Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to import pictures and videos from your camera onto your Windows 10 system. If you have not done so yet, go ahead and plug your USB camera into your system. You will hear the notifications and see this dialog box pop out. You can go ahead and click on that dialog box and you will get this box which asks you what you would like to do with this uh, device. You can import the video and, and, and photos. You can import them to your OneDrive, which if you have uh, Windows 10, then you, you get a OneDrive as well. You can play a Windows Media Player or open the folder to view the files. Um, personally, I don't like choosing any of those because once you choose one of these options then it will do that every single time you plug this camera in and maybe sometimes you don't want to import or save or play but you just want to just plug them in plug this in just to check something out maybe you're looking for a photo or something so what I like to do is come down here to this icon and this works if you've plugged your camera in and you no longer see this dialog box or this box is now gone. So what I like to do is I come down here to this icon and over to the side you can see it has a lot of options here including your OneDrive or this PC. So your camera will be found in two different places. In this list right here as you can see my camera is setting here or in this PC my camera is also setting you can either go here and, and explore this or you can come straight down here and take it'll take you to the exact same place in this case it's it's DCIM is the folder that the, the videos and, and pictures would be in and go ahead and click on that let's say I want this one here but I don't want to just drag it to my desktop. I mean, I could, and it will copy it to the desktop. But what if I don't want to do that? Well, you come up here to Home and click on that. And you can say Move To, and we'll say Pictures. And it will sit there and copy it to the Pictures folder. Now, I'm not going to sit there and let it do it because it's a very big file and I'm not going to sit here for a whole time. But you get the idea. So, and you, you just put checkbox, if you got more than one, put checkbox, a check in the box to whichever ones you want. And you do the same thing. You can go here and say move to pictures, documents. Uh, USB storage, uh, iCloud if you have an iCloud hook it up um, to wherever you want to send it. It's really that simple. Hope this video helps. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and leave comments in, in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up, like, and share. Thank you and have a great day.